Hey, my name is Nikola Krastic. I am a filmmaker and digital content creator with a huge passion of storytelling. In 2017, I had this idea of creating filmmakers, a place where everybody could get inspired by me, myself included. So this is where everything started out. I started Filmmakers Project because uh, online social media were quite early. And at the time, the, there were no filmmaking community quite supportive from each other where to get inspiration and to learn from. So this project actually started uh, with a little bit of curiosity and fun. And I found out that there's a lot of creators all around the world that wants to be inspired and learn something. So everything started from there uh, as a fun, passionate project. And nowadays it became so, so big out of my hand, I would say, but I'm so proud of it because I was able to inspire others. As a kid, I was always quite shy. I uh, found a way to express myself through humor and creativity. When my family and I moved from Serbia to Italy, I was only nine and I faced a huge language barrier. Um, it was completely different for me, from the language to the culture. At that time, I think my, my biggest uh, best friend was internet and it was actually where I can get inspired. So at that time, on summer, I was able to find a small jobs uh, as a storage factory in my little town and I was able to save up a little bit of money to buy my first second-hand camera. And this was actually a huge turn point for me because it taught me how determination I should have had in order to uh, be where I want to be and I think that was the pivot point where at early stage I wanted to make it happen. So I love to use all kind of gears, uh, especially Fujifilm because I love color science. I think the X-H2S has a very good color science. It's a small camera, you can put it anywhere you want, it's light and you can just go out and create. Especially for my little bit of bigger project, I like my Blackmagic uh, Pocket 6K. <laughs> but uh, with the prime lenses, it does tell a better story with a better image quality. Of course, it's a cinema camera. And of course, a drone cannot be missed in a filmmaker's equipment. So I really love from the DJI, the Mavic 3 Pro. It has a dual cameras, three cameras actually, uh, which is quite amazing to have the ability different lenses to tell different stories which is quite unique. Uh, I know it's funny to say, but I think one of my favorite accessories in the filmmaking space is actually my iPhone. It's always in my pocket and I always can like relay on it and just put it up and shoot with. Uh, it's obviously not the quality as we all want and we love, but it does tell the story which is important at the end of the end call. I would say every creator, every filmmaker, every photographer has his uh, burnout time, so when I had it one, of course, um, I decided to take, a, to take a vacation and go on Cuba. I was totally unprepared, but the reason why Cuba inspired me so much is because everybody was happy despite a lot of struggles they had. Uh, this made me think about my life back. Um, we don't need a lot of gear, we don't need a lot of equipment to actually tell a real story. So this helped me to reallocate my, my perspective and my uh, storytelling to where I started off. I think one of the biggest thing we all are missing is actually the passion project. I know by the time we became successful and we have a lot of jobs opportunity but I always forget and I always try to rem remember myself that passionate project fills up your soul and your personal creativity and that's what levels you up to become a better creator, better content creator, better filmmaker. So I think uh, people should also focus on their passionate project, on their uh, personal project instead of just doing client works. I think through the years and through a lot of experience I had, I realized how important is actually the pre-production and getting things organized, getting things uh, detailed organized, it makes your life and your career and your outcome actually way much better than everything else. Well, the funny things when I started, actually the post-production was the biggest thing that I was focusing on. I was always trying to be creative with editing, with a cool transition, cool sound effects, etc, etc. But with the time I found myself uh, slimming down the, the project and be a better storyteller instead of just making random cool things. I think sound design is probably my favorite part of editing process. Sound design to me gives a little bit of depth of every video. It helps audience immerse in what they're watching, what's the story I'm telling. 
And the funny thing is, I have no clue about sound engineering, anything about sound. To be honest with you, I have no background, but I just try to tell a story, try to express myself through the sound. And this inspiration actually comes with watching a lot of films. I remember when I just started out the the accessibility of gear was very, very low. And now with all the accessibility of the gear, uh, it all comes down to the, to the core. We need to be a better storyteller. We need to be better at making people feel a certain way because that's why we started all filmmaking. That's why we are passionate about it. And speaking of making people feel, I, I want people to feel part of my, my, my story. I want people to travel through my videos like I did for them. So I want to inspire them and make them feel what I felt when I was there shooting and telling that type of story. 